Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. A dynamic personality makes up for a short stature. This podcast is sponsored by x Wolf Testosterone Builder. Gentlemen, are you struggling in the body, sex, or mental game? Need to keep pace with multiple women? There is an answer for you. X Labs presents a proven line of products to help in those areas. Our X Wolf Testosterone Booster aids in intense workouts in the gym and in the bedroom. Increased blood flow and a heightened libido are just a few of the many benefits. X Wolf contains all natural ingredients that have been used in Eastern medicine for centuries. All products come with a 30 day free trial and free standard shipping. Click the link below in the description box to find out more. Quantities are limited. Make a select choice, unleash your inner wolf, and lead the pack to death. Yeah, yo. Now, this is an interesting part because I can't, you know, mostly, most of what I talk about is from a perspective I directly experience. I've always said that if I haven't experienced something or known someone who's experienced it or directly observed it, I don't talk about it. So this is definitely not some I personally experience. Because ironically, even though some, you know what, I'm talking about a short stash. Ironically, I've met several people, <laughs> several people who see me online or something, and then they see me in the real world. They're like, damn, you taller than I thought I was. Than I thought you were. Seriously, you taller and stuff. So I can't say that, I can't talk about short stature from a direct perspective, because I've always been that, like, relatively taller. Now, I ain't six feet. Well, I'm 5'11", and that's still taller than average. But even then, you know, I did. And one of the things I've been able to do is directly observed and directly known several men of what's considered short stature. You know, they might be like like five five and under. And you know, there's this thing. You know, height. Look, let's be real. Height makes a uh, is one of the things women take into consideration. We, we can't, you know, you got women who directly say, oh, if they ain't six inches, at six feet, six inches too, six feet or something, they don't want to deal with them and stuff. You know, they want that, uh, you know, that really tall guy, right? But that's only 14% of the population. And that, that's a real thing. That, that's a real thing. They take all physicality to, into account. But then despite that, some of the biggest players I've known in life have been 5'8 and under. Some of the biggest players I've known, like, they tearing up women. They going for it. i never forget this one guy. I ain't going to call his nickname. And the women gave him this nickname, too. It was about his style of approaching. The thing about him was he was bold and he didn't give a fuck. He was only 5'5", five, five five, and he was tearing up women. I watched him do it. I mean, I'm witnessing this. And he would go for five ten women. He would go for taller women, you know. I and you know people always like use that receipt term. I, shoot, I know directly about three of the women he got with. You know, I watched the seduction. But one of the things he had, he just had a bold personality. This dude was probably one of the most fearless human beings I ever seen, and how he carried himself. He didn't walk through like, oh, yeah, I'm 5'5", five, five, and, you know, I'm, I'm so sad and stuff. Dude, man, this dude, first of all, physically, he was a top-level athlete. And then mentally, um, this dude, reason why I don't call his nickname or something, because he actually has a Ph.D. This dude, really, despite his height, was a pretty much a genius bruiser. Oh, he was a martial artist, too. He didn't use any excuses, but he the main thing was his personality, how he was moving through stuff. And that's new on several other guys like that. Yeah, they and one of the things they like always say the body bill. So these were dudes who do get in the gym, they did throw up weight and stuff, but they just had a bold ass personality. They ain't give a fuck. They ain't give a fuck. They were like, hey, they ain't make a big deal out of it. Shit, they look at a tall woman like, yeah, I like climbing trees, girl. No oh, shoot. And if you step to them, they'll step to your back. They will step to you back, so they weren't punks either. But the main thing that drove them was a dynamic personality. That's that's the key. Because I see a lot of guys, like, they'll say, well, I'm sure I don't have any chance and all of that. That's not a dynamic personality. That's a personality of a victim mentality and all of that. 
you know. And yeah, women, I'm going to tell you what, yeah, women um, will say publicly or many of them will say, well, he got to be tall, he got to be this, he got to be muscular, he, he got to have all this money. They say a lot. But the dynamic personality on these dudes, they were like, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They're getting your face. They whatever. And they be having women. You know, they either play, they either got multiple women or they got a serious fine woman who might be a little bit taller than. And I've known, and I've actually known some women who were with men, they were taller than. I've known several. I've known several. And they they always point to the same thing. They don't, they won't talk. They don't necessarily, you can see the dude's got a good body build, but they don't talk about the body build necessarily. They talk about his confidence, that he's just bold. They talk about he, he's just out there doing his thing. And that's the key right there. Now, you know, I'm known for talking about the body build, the body game and stuff. But remember, I always said three, three primary things. The body build is just the foundation, and it's a powerful foundation. It's 75% of the game, really. 75% of it because it turns on a woman sexually. So definitely do that. But then, you know, you also need that charisma, that personality, and then that masculinity. Masculinity, first of all, let me talk about the masculine part. That's not limited to height. Masculinity is a primal force. Masculine, you can be masculine and, you know, only a certain height. You know, you can still be masculine. I've seen, like, five foot five football players. Shoot, even in the NFL, you get some... Uh, um, you know, some guys around there. I forgot this with a couple players. I can't remember their names right off the top of my bat. Yeah, off the top of my head. Y'all know how I do this. But, uh, you know, I've definitely seen that at a high school level. Guys kicking ass and stuff. They ain't give a shit, you know? Hell, I remember uh, when I was at the graduate level in um, – um, at American University, right? And I was watching an intramural football game. And they had some basketball players. Uh, since they weren't playing basketball at the time, they were actually playing intramural football until somebody said something. <laughs> the coach is like, ah, no. Nah. But I remember they played this game. They had this dude who was six foot eight, right? He was playing receiver. He was going across for a pass. There was this little guy. He was a little guy. He was only about 5'2". His nickname was Scrappy Do. <laughs> His nickname was Scrappy Do. And you had this star six foot eight player coming across the middle for a pass. Man, <laughs> this little five foot two dude came across and dropped him. He came across. I was like, oh shit. Everybody's like, oh shit. <laughs> Just five foot two. But he was the coolest dude though. Like I said, we I call his nickname and stuff. We call him Scrappy Dude. He was, he was a five foot two white kid. <laughs> he was a five foot he was he was a bold as ass motherfucker. <laughs> but he he was a cool dude. And I seen that I seen that across the races. Just some dudes, they were just like, hey, they ain't tripping over this stuff. They ain't tripping. You know? See, and, you know, that goes to the masculinity. And then just the personality, you know, the charisma. I mean, first of all, that's not – your personality, your charisma, is, is just like masculinity, isn't depending on your height. The only thing is that's just a physical thing. But you still need those other two. You still need those other two to an extent. So it's like what the dudes do. They still work on their bodies. They'll still be in great shape, you know. I know some dudes about five four could throw up three hundred pounds. I know, in fact, I know a dude uh, five foot three, old. He's around my age now. He could throw up four hundred. You know, I remember. Shoot, I remember um, dealt with this uh, woman. Um, I had mentioned uh, people follow me on Instagram. Saw us. We were at an upper class party. Uh, her brother, her son is about five four. <laughs> he be in the, he he made, he let me know what's up. <laughs> I was like, you know what, I respect you, man, because <laughs> he let me know. <laughs> I was like, okay, no, nah, I respect that. You're looking out for your moms, <laughs> but you know, but shoot, he had a fine ass girlfriend. <laughs> so I was like, shit, it's the personality. Seriously, don't don't you know? I'm gonna tell you what. Physically, you still want to just be your best version, you know. 
but don't 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 worry about that other stuff and don't really don't even worry about women say you be the best you and deal with who going to deal with you all right but it, that's the one thing if you if you, if your stature you hearing this and your stature ain't don't don't this say just work on everything else they ain't they stop you from being masculine and they ain't stopping you from developing your charisma you know and like i said shoot in fact, uh, I've seen I've seen dudes five foot four, five five, five two, throwing up weight. So you can still get your body together, tighter, probably be easier, in in some cases. But that makes up for it. Don't use any excuses. And like I said, nah, I don't know that from a personal perspective, but I've known plenty of guys of uh, shorter stature who were kicking ass, and they would they weren't dealing with like some jacked up women either. You know, and it would like not just kicking ass there, but just kiss, kicking ass in life. So, anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. <laughs>